Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Javid Basharite versus Chris Gutierrez. Javid Basharite's 14 and one. He's three, one, oh, and one, his last five fights. Minus 240 favorite, 28 years old, 5'9", with a 69 inch reach. Finding Chris Gutierrez, who's 25 and two, three and two in his last five fights, one and two in his last three. Plus 195 underdog at 33 years old, 5'9", with a 67 inch reach, two inch advantage, reach advantage for Basharite. You know, loss to Ayman Zahabi, I think is a pretty big loss, to be honest. Five months ago, I'm glad he's getting back in there. I thought Zah uh, Javi Basharite won that matchup, but as the fight progressed, Zahabi was able to find that uh, that distance, find the striking where he where he was able to hit Basharite, find that distance, like I said, the distance. He did a good job being able to land on Basharite, something that people haven't really been able to do on Basharite. So I like this matchup a lot. I think Chris Gutierrez is a very hard matchup. I don't think Javi Basharite can stick on the outside and win this matchup. I think he has to mix in his striking to his clinch, to his ground game. If he can get Gutierrez down to the ground, I think Basharite can really do some good work. I don't see a finish. I think absolutely this fight goes to a decision. I don't think it's going to be crazy exciting because of Gutierrez's style. He moves around a lot. He looks for the perfect strike, which typically doesn't land. Basharite, same thing, not a lot of power, good footwork, good distance control. I like Basharite to win this. Number 16 fighter, Chris Gutierrez. He's been on a bit of a, you know, slide. Uh, losing to Song Yadong, which I actually thought Gutierrez won three out of two rounds. I know people don't like to hear that, but I, I did think he did. Pedro Munoz was able to catch him and drop him and hurt him uh, and get a decision win. He did get back on track against Alatang Haley in a short notice matchup. Didn't look great in that matchup. So I like Javid Basharat, the Snow Leopard. And he's at 14 and one. You know, he has 11 finishes out of his 14 wins, but he also has eight finishes in the first round, five of them by TKO. He hasn't done that in the UFC, all decisions as of right now. I do think, yeah, the Victor Henry fight would have been a really, really fun one. Both guys, good footwork, good uh, striking, but Javi Basharat, I beat, I, I believe, beats Chris Gutierrez. Plus 195. I'm surprised Gutierrez isn't the underdog because he's fought the better competition. But I like Javi Basharat in this matchup. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking. Peace.